Good morning. It's a great day. It is a great opportunity that we have here. Innovate Newport is up and running and already teeming with entrepreneurs and energy. And to all of you here who played a role in making it happen, I want to say thank you. I agree with the mayor. The list is uh, too long for me to read. It took a lot of hands in the kitchen to make this a reality. And by the way, I think that's what makes Rhode Island great. Jamie Bova, the current mayor of Newport and supporter of Innovate Newport. Jamie, tell us how you think that Innovate Newport is going to impact the city of Newport going forward. This project, Innovate Newport, is really what I see as the beacon for future development and growth in the city of Newport. You know, we brought together so many different partners from across government um, and charitable organizations and private uh, businesses, and it's really just the beginning, in my opinion, and it's the beacon for the type of innovative uh, economic growth that I think we can really look forward to in the city. I'm a Hoosier. Okay. I'm really proud of it. If you notice that the basketball net is still up, yeah. I made sure that happened. All right. So I'm a Hoosier. It uh, is really cool to yeah. have that in this space. I'm from South Bend, Indiana, originally. Okay. Um, I uh, married a woman from Massachusetts, which means I was forced to live in New York. <laughs> so uh, I went to. It's always the other. I know. Uh, I went to UMass uh, Amherst um, okay. for grad school, got out, and got into the business of economic development, and came to Rhode Island in 1984. Uh, so you've running, seen a lot of change. Yep, yeah, running this organization. So I've been in this organization for 33 years. It's never because of any person. One. It's never because of an organization. Uh, yeah. I think part of this is really understanding that. Yeah. It Projects like this just takes so much hard work for so many people. Yeah. And they all have to be committed to the same vision. Uh, and this is proof. We um, ran into a couple of stumbling blocks with the city. Joe Nicholson showed uh, tremendous persistence. Uh, this began as really just an idea with the chamber and Keith Stokes at the time. And the unwavering support of U.S. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse made this possible. I remember Joe Nicholson and I saying, do you think we can really make Sheffield School into this? Yeah. I've watched this building lay fallow since the school closed, and it was the spark that Newport needed. Yeah. It's symbolic of what can happen in the whole north end of the city. It's not just this building. This is a true public-private collaboration. Public at every level, federal, state, and city, private with nonprofits as well as small businesses. So I know it took a long time to get here, but I promise you it was all worth it. And to all of you who played a role, thank you. And I can't wait to come back in a year, in two, in three, and see this place as a beehive of innovation, busting at the seams, and all the jobs and energy that it'll create. So thank you so much and let's continue to make it happen.